When we think of some of Denver's top sports leaders, John Elway, Chauncey Billups, Joe Sackick, Todd Helton are the names that come to mind. Nine News storytellers Kim Christensen and Johnny Kurt have a new name to add to the list. He's an athlete who, like the others, is not only extraordinary in play, but is a leader on his team and in the community. And this one isn't even out of middle school yet. You guys make a mistake, short-term memory, right? Play the next play, all right? Every team has a captain, a go-to guy for the players and the coaches. I said Gators, you say Gators. Gators! Gators! Every time out, Rhett's always talking to the kids, keeping their chins up. For the Stanley Lake Gators, Rhett Gutierrez is the one. Come on, Rhett. I call him the big man on campus. He's a fearless defender. He's our best rebounder. Rhett is a leader on the basketball court and the football field, where he's the quarterback. He was always one of the captains on the team, and I think that's all that he knows is to be that guy who's out there cheering on the other teammates. And yours is very intricate and complicated. He leads in the classroom, too. Rhett earned straight A's and has been accepted into the International Baccalaureate program at Stanley Lake High School. Even more impressive is what you and Rhett can't see. In Colorado, he's legally blind. 2200 is a legally blind citizen of the state, and that's Rhett's vision. Nearly three years ago, Rhett was diagnosed with Stargardt's disease, a juvenile form of macular degeneration. If you've ever seen a television program where they blank out someone's face to hide their identity, that's uh, a simulation of what he might see, only maybe in a broader area. He has limited peripheral vision, which he uses quite effectively. I don't want it to be an excuse. I want it to be something that impresses people. Even his doctor can't explain how. I've told people that are a little down about their vision loss, about, hey, I've got patients that can still do things. They learn how to cook, they learn how to sew, they learn how to go bowling, and then I have a young patient that's playing football and basketball and doing great in school, so they, they like to hear that. His sight may be limited, but there is no limit to his expectations. I want to be the best, regardless of what my vision is, regardless of what the other guy is doing. I want to be the best, and uh, I'm going to do whatever it takes to do that. And if I got to work harder, then I got to work harder. He's always been very outgoing, funny, um, compassionate. Maybe he's more compassionate now. He's a good um, example. Oh, yeah! So I can know what I want to be like and how I want to be. Rebound, Gators. He's my best friend. He's a leader. It's someone who you can look to in the darkest times, the best times, and you can say, that guy's going to lead us out to, uh, he's going to be a guy that get us through this, no matter what. And you get the sense he'll be the go-to guy for the rest of his life. I think uh, people have found out that I may not be able to see the way, but I can find the way, no matter what. Kim Christensen, 9 News. Next year, Rhett plans to try out for the football and basketball teams at Stanley Lake High School. He dreams of someday becoming a professional coach. Rhett and his family are active in the efforts to support the Foundation Fighting Blindness. To learn more, go to our website. He is flat out that amazing. Incredible? That is remarkable. <laughs> it's pretty amazing. Kathy Saban was recruited by a lot of professional basketball teams, given that she's just a hair under seven foot. She's out of the nine.